This is the season premiere of Bay Area Sportsweekly.com's San Francisco Giants post game. I'm Brian Professor B. Davis. We're here at Momo's across the street from AT&T Park, home of your defending world champion, San Francisco Giants. The San Francisco Giants fans were across the street from AT&T Park this afternoon, early today, as a, a big Comcast Sports Giants view party. The watching the San Francisco Giants taking on your Los Angeles Dodgers down at Chavez Ravine at Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. As the Giant fans came into um, AT&T Park to watch the viewing on the big Jumbotron screen was presented by Comcast Sportsnet Bay Area. Well, the Giants begin of their title defense as world champions did not go out well as planned. The Giants were shut out by the Los Angeles Dodgers down at Dodger Stadium on opening day Monday afternoon by a score of four to nothing as Clayton Kershaw, who uh, hit, and it's not no April Fool's joke, it is the truth, but and no joke, hit a solo home run in the bottom half of the eighth inning. The unlikely person in the number nine spot, the hit run off of Giants reliever George Contos. And the Dodgers would add three more runs as um, insurance as Clayton Kershaw threw a four hit complete game shutout he goes to distance with nine innings giving up four hits no earned runs with eight strikeouts while Matt Cave pitched well but was not involved in the decision he comes out at the with six innings pitch giving up four hits no earned runs walked one with eight strikeouts and Pablo Sandoval was two for four at the plate despite the, his recent um, elbow ailment recently did pretty good, two hits in, out of four uh, play appearances. So the Giants dropped to 0-1. The Giants and Dodgers will meet game two down in Los Angeles for the second game of the three-game series on Tuesday night. It will be Madison Bumgarner will be on the hill for San Francisco. He will face Chad Billingsley. First pitch of that game will be at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Reminder, the Giants will be back will have their home opener. It's going to be a big weekend at AT&T Park coming up on Friday. Friday's game has been sold out. First pitch will be around 1.35 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The raising of the 2012 World Series Championship flag. It will be on then on Saturday. It will be Buster Posey's MVP bobblehead for the first 40,000 fans. Then on Sunday, it will be the Giants World Series ring ceremony at AT&T Park. There are still tickets available for both the Buzzer, Buster Posey MVP bobblehead giveaway and for the Giants World Series World Series replica ring ceremony giveaway ring for the fans. For both of those games on Saturday and Sunday, you can still get tickets. Friday's home opener has been sold out for those two Giants games for the Posey um, bobblehead giveaway on Saturday for his MVP and for the 40,000 first 40,000 fans for the World Series ring ceremony, which will be on Sunday. 40,000 40, fans will get the replica rings, and they'll have the big World Series ring ceremony, just like they did in 2011, two years ago. But make sure you get them ASAP, because tickets are, are running limited. Go to sfgiants.com for all that and for all your latest San Francisco Giants news. Reporting from Momos. Across the street from AT&T Park, home of your two-time world champion San Francisco Giants. Giants dropped a tough one on opening day down to the L.A. Dodgers in Los Angeles at Chavez Ravine at Dodger Stadium. The Dodgers four and the San Francisco Giants nothing. You listen to BayAreaSportsWeekly.com, San Francisco Giants report on BayAreaSportsWeekly.com. Your 24-hour news service seven days a week as the interview bring you all the best, latest sports news, including your world champion Giants from the Bay Area and beyond. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Go Giants.